Sing Nevea. A community comes together for a child gone too soon. Good evening, I'm Carolyn Stokes. And I'm Jeremy Eaton. A community said goodbye today to Nevea de Nine at a funeral in the Ghouls. The nine-year-old spent years raising money for other kids with cancer. She lost her own battle with the disease on Monday evening. Here and now's Kate McGilvery is in the Ghouls tonight. Kate, what can you tell us about today? Well, first of all, I can tell you that this was not like other funerals. As you can see behind me, there are decorations and streamers and balloons. What Nevea's family wanted was for this to be a celebration of her nine years of life, and the community here in the Goulds rose to that occasion. I'm very emotional because it's, it's hard to believe that such a little girl, such a beautiful little soul, had to go through so much. I mean, she was sick most of her life since she was probably two years old. The day began with a procession of vintage cars done up in Nevea's favorite colors. Along the route, people out in droves to pay their respects. Dorothy Pike is a friend of the Denine family. Just wanted to give our love and support and let them know just that we do care. Everybody cares. A little down the way, a lemonade stand to honor Nevea's tireless fundraising for other pediatric patients. She taught us all a lot. And just as support, we're out here today to um, Obviously something here, the lemonade stand, that was, is going to be always her legacy. Uh, it's just our way of paying tribute. The procession ended up at St. Kevin's Church in the Goulds, the town where Nevea grew up and went to school. Mourners wore light-colored clothing in celebration of her life, and friends and family filled the church. I am here because Nevea was one of my best friends. She always went camping with us. It was sad, but... You know, she's in a better place now. At least she's not suffering no more. Everyone had something to say about the way Nevea had impacted their lives. This beautiful girl touched my heart. She honestly gave me hope in a very hard time when I had lost somebody to cancer. And I actually had the privilege to meet her in March um, after holding a party for my mother who had passed away. We raised money and I was unbelievably grateful to get to donate it to her lemonade stand and to get to meet her. I've been hearing that a lot over the last few days, people telling me that Nevea inspired them to dig deeper and give more. The Confederation Building in St. John's will be lit in yellow tonight in her honor, giving everyone who drives by a chance to reflect on what her life meant. Reporting live for Here and Now, I'm Kate McGilvery in the Goulds.